All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we worked with this Pynemia 2 library. Um, and what I said I wanted to do next was um, basically clean this code up a little bit and write to a new text file just the information we're interested in. So right now we're opening a text file that has a bunch of GPS data, a bunch of crap that we're not really interested in, and we're just going line by line and printing all that out. Um, so what I want to do is just make a new text file that has lat long and um, like the date in it. Um, so to do that, we're going to have to open two files. Uh, we're going to have to open the file to loop through it like this, and then also open another file to actually write to. Um, so I just Googled how to do that in Python, and this is the answer I, I like. Um, so this guy's saying this is the modern way to open files. Closing is handled cleanly. Um, so let's just grab this. And I'm going to comment out their method of opening a file, and I'm going to use this other method of opening a file because this is uh, the better, more modern way to do it. Um, so you can see we're opening a file. So I'm just going to copy my file from here and paste it in. And you can see the mode for this one is R for read. Uh, so it's with open as the in file, then open this other file as the out file. So I'm just pasting the same exact path, but I'm just going to slightly modify the name of this file. And, and this can be whatever you want, because this is going to be the new output file. So let's just call it um, underscore output. And you see here mode is W as out file. And now this needs to be indented. And this is complaining because we don't have file anymore because we commented out. So when you use this with open syntax, you can just say uh, for line in file. So whatever you named this thing, you can uh, do, do it like that. So for line in, in file. Let's just try that to make sure it's working. All right, so we get basically the same exact thing. Um, now let's... So now we're just, we're not actually writing a new file. Um, actually, I'm not sure if we are, if it actually, it might output just a blank file. Yeah, I think. Here it is. So it made the file, but it, we didn't write anything to it, right? So that's what we have to do next. So, so we're going through each line and trying to basically print this message. So let's, uh, in order to write to it, since we called the out file out file, we can just say out file dot write. And we should just be able to print this message like that. And I'm not really exactly sure what the REPR is. I think it's because this is an object we're trying to print. So returns a print presentation of the given object. So this message, this thing is being returned as an object. And in order to print or write, we have to represent it, I guess, as like a string. Um, so let's just try this to see if this works. All right. So let's go back to our desktop. Okay, so there we go. We're getting the information, but it looks a little hard to read. Um, so let's add out file dot write. I'm just going to add a, a new line after every, um, after every iteration. So let's try that one. So this looks better. Um, but we're still, we're not narrowing it down. We're just printing everything out. So what I want to do, I just want to print, um, I don't want to print all these GSA, RMC, GSA, GSV. I only want I only want to print certain ones. Um, and if I go back to this one page, this log contains time, date, and position. Track made good and speed data provided. Okay, this is the one we want to look at. GPRMC. So I'm just going to print everything out again. RMC. 
So let's just, um, so yeah, let's just print out only the RMC values. So in order to narrow down um, what type of message is returned, I was messing around with this message and it has this sentence type uh, attribute. So we should just be able to say, um, let's just print that out, print message dot sentence type and comment that out. So you can see here, we should be able to uh, make an if statement based on this value. So we should be able to say if message dot sentence type is equal to um, RMC, then print, um, just go ahead and print the whole thing. So let me comment that out now. So now we should only get uh, RMCs printed back. Okay, so now we just have RMCs coming back. And now with RMCs, I know all the RMCs have like latitude, latitude, direction, longitude, whereas some of those other values, they didn't have latitude, longitude. So now we should be able to just say print message dot lat, print message dot long, and print, let's just try that for now. All right, so now we have lat long, but I actually like it in, in the other version. So latitude, longitude, we don't need to print the met. Oh, I guess we can. I spelled that wrong again. Longitude. All right, so we have lat long and I'm trying to, f I think it's timestamp. So let's just print message dot time stamp. Now I, I want the full date too. So date stamp, that's what we want. Date stamp. All right, there we go. So we don't need to print the whole message out and I'm actually going to print the date stamp first. Don't need this anymore. Um, add our extra line. Okay. So here we actually, we don't want to print this parsing error. If there's an error, just continue silently. Okay, so we have our date, time, our lat, and our long. So the only thing we have left to do now is actually write it to the text file. So we're just printing it. So let's just move these. Let's get rid of this. Let's move these lines down here. And we're basically just going to uh, print them to the through the text file. All right, let me see what this gives us. Oh, it must be a string, not date, time, not date. Okay, so let's just say, turn this into a string instead of a date, time. Not float. Well, oh, same thing here. The lat and the long are being returned as float values. That makes sense. So I'm just going to return them as strings. All right, let's take a look. And you can see here stuff's still getting a little jumbled up. So jumbled up. Um, what I'm gonna do actually instead, 
I'm going to put each item that we're interested in here into its own uh, array and then just print the whole array on one line. I think that might be a little cleaner. So let's just do um, info or GPS info array equals that. And then we just need to append these to the array. Uh, so GPS info dot array or dot append and then just append this actually let's append the string of it Actually, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. So we're appending it all to the array, and then I just want to outfile.write, and I want to write the GPS info array, and then add a new line. So then every time this loops through, it's going to reset the array to something empty, add three items, append to the text file, and then go, go through it again. Um, so I think this is going to format it how we want. It must be a string, not a list. Uh, I think we just might have to put string in front of this as well. Let's try that. All right. There we go. So now we have an array of these three pieces of information that we're interested in. So date latitude longitude and that looks good that that's what i envisioned us having basically something like this um you know you, you can play around with it to get it exactly how you want it but i think this looks better than um what we had before so i think this video is getting a little long um in the next video i'm just going to bring this whole script back to our raspberry pi uh, and then just run it there just to make sure it still works